Hi everyone, my name is Leslie. Welcome to my Matt Pilates workout. For today's workout, all you're going to need is one set of light weights, anywhere from one to three pounds. We'll get set up with the weights on either side of your mat towards the back of your mat, and we'll start lying down. Any supine shape that you would like to begin, you can butterfly your legs if you'd like, or you can just have the legs long on the mat, and we'll just start by taking a cleansing breath. So take a nice deep inhale, fill up your lungs, and then exhale, sigh it out. Go ahead and hug your knees into your chest, give them a squeeze. Rock side to side a few times and massage your low back. Grab hold of your light weights and bend your knees with your legs into a tabletop position. Take the weights up and over your head with the palms facing up. Take a nice deep inhale and as you exhale, keeping your arms straight, curl your head and shoulders up off of the mat and reach the weights forward so they hover right by your hips. Inhale to lower back down. Continue like that. Exhale to curl up. Inhale to lower back down. Every time you exhale, the focus is on connecting to your core, your powerhouse, your center. So pressing the tailbone down into your mat, getting both shoulders nice and high off of the mat. Keep going, just a few more rounds. Warming up the core a little bit here before we come into the 100. Last four. Lower, last three, lower down, last two, lower down, last one, lower down. Now curl up and pause at the top. So the weights are hovering right by your hips. Extend your legs to a high diagonal setting up for the hundred. Keeping the arms straight, just start to lift the weights up and down, lift, and lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now pause there, rotate your wrists so the palms face up, and then rotate your wrists so the palms facing down. We've got nine more, rotate and down, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Pull the weights into your chest. Rebend your knees. Feet down on the mat, hips width, setting up for a Pilates bridge. Glue the weights to your hips. As you inhale, peel your hips up off of the mat and find that bridge. Pause at the top. Make sure you're pulling your low belly in and up and that you can still see your knees so there's a nice diagonal from your chin to the tops of your knees. As you exhale, hollow out your belly and feel the articulation of your spine as you roll back down with control one vertebra at a time. We'll do that again nice and slow, lifting your hips up into your bridge scooping the belly and rolling back down one vertebra at a time. One more slow, lift your hips up, squeeze your belly, squeeze your glutes, roll back down with control one vertebra at a time. And now we'll just take it a little faster so we're warming up the legs here so you'll lift the hips up and down. Lift and lower, keeping those weights glued to your hips. Lift, lower, lift, and lower, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift to the top of your bridge and just take little pulses like that. So little pulses up, you'll stay at the top little tiny pulses for 10, nine, press your feet firmly into the mat, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Nice job, roll your spine back down one vertebra at a time. Keep your left knee bent and take your right leg long on the mat. Take the weights up and over your head just like we did at the very beginning. Inhale here. As you exhale, the hips and the right leg will lift and the weights will go over your shoulders. So coming into a three-legged bridge and then roll back down, hips down, leg down, weights back over your head. We've got nine more like that. Lifting up for two, down for two, eight, and down, seven, and down, six, and down, five, and down, last four, and down, final three, and down, last two and down one more lift for two lower for two now glue the weights back to your hips as you lift into your three-legged bridge and then we're taking single leg bridge pulses here for ten nine eight seven point your right toes six five four Three, two, one. Now pause at the top. I know that left leg is probably burning. Tap your right toes to your left thigh and then re extend the leg. We've got nine more. Tap, extend. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last 10 pulses, 10, yes you can, nine, I know that left leg burns, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice job, right leg down, hips all the way back down. Switching sides, bend your right knee, place your right foot down, extend your left leg long on your mat. Once again, take the weights up and over your head. Inhale here as you exhale, lifting up for two, lower for two, nine, and down, eight, and down, seven, and down, and down, five, and down, last four, and down, final three, and down, last two, and down, last one, and down. Now lift up into your bridge and glue those weights to your hips, 10 pulses, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay at the top of your bridge. Left toes tap the right thigh and then re extend for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Last ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hips down, left leg all the way down. Just keep that left leg long on your mat and then extend your right leg long on the mat. Flex your feet, setting up for the roll-up. Option, you can start with the weights over your shoulders, or if you'd like, you can start with the weights all the way up over your head. As you inhale, curl your head and shoulders up. As you exhale, reach and dive for your toes. 
Inhale, roll back down with control, one vertebra at a time. Exhale, return the weights to whatever start position you chose. We've got four more rounds of the roll up. Inhale, curl up. Exhale, reach and dive for your toes. Inhale, set the belly in, roll back down one vertebra at a time. Exhale, return the weights to your start position. Three more, inhale, curl up. Exhale, reach and dive for your toes. Inhale, roll back down with control. Exhale, return the weights to your start position. Last two. When you reach down, look down so you get as much length in your spine as you possibly can. Last one. Curl up. Reach and dive for your toes. Roll back down one vertebra at a time. Return the weights to your start position. Great, good work. Now take the weights right over your chest, glue them together, and we'll set up for single leg circles here. So lift up your right leg, flex your left foot, press your left leg heavy into the mat. If it's too much to have the left leg straight, you're welcome to bend your left knee, that's also fine. And then start to draw nice and controlled circles with that right leg. The circles are not very wide. If you know what a Pilates ring looks like, they are no wider than the width of a Pilates magic ring. Keep those weights right over your chest and focus on pressing the tailbone heavy into your mat as you do these circles. Make sure you're breathing. Now go ahead and start to reverse the direction of your circles and go the opposite way. Again, keep focusing on pressing the tailbone aggressively down into your mat and keeping your rib cage closed. Point your right toes, keep that right leg long, strong, and engaged. Last circle in the counterclockwise direction, pause here. Keep those weights in your hands, curl your head and shoulders up, and take a twist outside of your right leg. Now, you have the option to keep the left leg down. If you want a little more challenge, you can lift that left leg a few inches off of the mat. The right leg is going to move. So as you inhale, the right leg meets the left, and then exhale up. We've got seven more. Inhale down, exhale up. Six, and up. Five, and up. Four, and up. Three, two, one. Now reach to the right for eight. Seven little pulses. Six, five, four, three, two. Listen on one. Bring the left leg up, split your legs, take the weights through the legs, flex your feet, and pulse for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, weights to your chest, close your legs. Lower your right leg down, lift the weights back over your chest, arms straight, setting up for your single leg circles on the other side. Option to bend your right knee and place your right foot down on the mat if you would like. Start to draw nice and controlled circles with that left leg. Again, focusing on pressing the tailbone down and keeping the rib cage closed. The right leg is also pressing heavy into the mat, or if the knee is bent, the foot is pressing down into the mat, helping with your stability to prevent those hips from wobbling around. Really focus on controlling the movement. And now start to reverse the direction of your circles. Go the opposite way. Make sure you're staying with your breath. Continue to breathe. Last circle counterclockwise. Pause here. Curl your head and shoulders up and twist. Take the weights outside of your left leg. Now you have the option to keep that right leg down, no problem. If you want more challenge, you'll lift the right leg a few inches off the mat. The left leg lowers to meet the right and then back up for seven, six, Five, four, 
three, two, one. Now reach to the left for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right leg up, weights through your legs, split your legs, last pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, weights to your chest, close your legs together. Rebend your knees, place your feet down onto the mat. Then extend your left leg long, followed by your right leg long on your mat. And we'll take a roll up transition with the weights. Weights over your shoulders. Inhale, curl up. Exhale, reach and dive for your toes. We'll drop the weights off at the sides of the mat just for a moment. Take your feet so they're right inside the edges of your mat. Belly in and your spine nice and long. Interlock all 10 fingers behind your head with your elbows wide. Take a nice inhale, tall spine. Exhale, twist to the right as far as you can, keeping that tall spine. Come back to center. Then take a twist to the left as far as you can, keeping your spine tall. Back to center, and we'll keep going just like that. So going right, center, left, and center. Right, center, left, center. Five more, left, center, last four, left, center, last three, left, center, last two, left, center, last one, left, and center. Nice job. So we've warmed up the spine a little bit with those twists. Now pick up your weights once more. Bend your elbows to a 90 degree angle. Lift your arms out, a lateral arm raise out to the side, and then punch those weights straight out, shoulder height. Close the weights together, keeping them shoulder height. Reopen your arms, rebend your elbows, and then come back down to that start position. Let's do it again, so it's a lateral arm raise. Straighten, close, open, rebend, and down. We'll take four more. Lift, straighten, close, Open, rebend, and down. Last three. Straighten, close, open, rebend, and down. Last two. Straighten, close, open, rebend, and down. Last one. Lift, straighten, close, open, rebend, and down. All right, so now take your lateral arm raise, punch the arms out wide, and pause here. Keep those weights shoulder height. If this feels like too much or you find yourself sinking, I would recommend not using the weights for this part. So if you don't wanna use the weights, you can always just have the arms like this. But the important thing is to keep the spine long and those hands shoulder height. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, you'll twist to the right for two, center for two, left for two, center for two. Really active in those shoulders, right? center for two, left, center for two, just three more, right for two, center for two, left for two, center for two, last two, center, left, center, last one, right, center, left, and center. Nice job. Rebend your elbows. Bring them in by your side body. Now take your feet about hips width distance apart. Setting up for a half roll back here. So you'll start with the weights all the way up and over your head. Take an inhale and as you exhale, come down like you're at the bottom of a roll up. So just the shoulder blades are off of the mat. The weights are reaching forward and then come all the way back up to that start position, tall spine, weights up and over your head. We'll take a total of eight. So that was one rep. We've got seven more. Lower down for two. Come up for two. Six. And up. Five. 
and up. Last four and up. Final three and up. Last two and up. Last one and up. Nice job. Now bring the weights into your chest with your elbows wide. Bring your feet all the way together so your legs are together. Feet flexed, inhale, keep the weights at your chest as you exhale, toes point, hinge back into a C curve of your spine. So you should really feel your abdominal muscles turn on. You're sucking the belly in, the rib cage is closed, and then flex the feet, pull yourself back up to that tall spine. We'll do it again, we're doing a total of 10. We've done one rep, we've got nine more. Point, hinge for two, flex up for two. Eight, and up seven, and up, six, and up, five, and up, last four, and up, last three, and up, final two, and up, last one, and up, nice work. Now point and hinge back. Pause there at the bottom. Twist, tap your elbow to the left, back to center, and then right and center. Nine more, right or left, center, right and center. Eight, center, right, center. Seven, right. Six, right. Five, right, last four, right, three, right, and center, last two, center, right, center, last one, center, right, and center. Lie all the way down onto your back. Nice job, place the weights off to the sides of your mat. And we're setting up now for Pilates series of five. So start by hugging your knees into your chest, and then bring your legs into a tabletop position, setting up for single leg stretch. Curl your head and shoulders up, extend your left leg to a high diagonal, hug your right shin in, and then start to switch out your legs going right and left. Point your toes and try to get full extension of each leg as it reaches towards the top of your mat. Head and shoulders stay nice and high off the mat. The upper body does not rock. You just keep the head and shoulders curled up switching out your legs. Make sure you're breathing. Just for five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, rest, lower your head and shoulders down. We'll do double leg stretch next. So bend your knees, bring your legs into tabletop, hands behind your head, curl your head and shoulders up. As you inhale, extend both legs to a high diagonal. As you exhale, take a full sweeping circle of the arms to scoop the knees into your chest. Inhale to extend. Exhale, circle the arms, knees to chest. The tailbone stays aggressively pressing down into your mat. The head and shoulders do not move. They stay nice and high off of your mat. Make sure you breathe. So inhales long, exhale, scoop the knees into your chest. Just for five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, lower your head and shoulders down. We've just got three more here in series of five. Single straight leg stretches next. Take your legs up to the sky with your toes pointed. Curl your head and shoulders up. Lower your left leg to hover. Grab your right shin from behind and then start to switch out your legs. Left and right, left and right. Just like in single leg stretch, the head and shoulders stay nice and high off the mat. Legs long, strong and engaged. Avoid rocking in the upper body. Just keep switching out those legs with the head and shoulders curled up. Nice work, everyone. We're almost there. Just for five, four, three, two, one, rest, nice job. 
All right, we've got two more. We'll finish it off with double straight leg stretch and crisscross. For double straight leg stretch, take your legs up to the sky with your hands on the mat by your hips, not underneath your butt, right by your hips. Option if you want to, to keep the head and shoulders down, that's perfectly fine. If you'd like a little more challenge, curl your head and shoulders up off of the mat. As you inhale, it's a slow lower down, only as low as you can go keeping the tailbone down, very important in Pilates. Exhale right back up. Again, inhale slow lower down, exhale right back up. If you need even more challenge, you can do it with your hands behind your head. Inhale slow lower down, exhale right back up. Keep going on your own. I know this one's a doozy. Stay with it. Just for five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, nice work. Give your knees a squeeze and we'll finish it off with crisscross for the obliques. Legs into tabletop, hands behind your head. Curl your head and shoulders up, extend your left leg to a high diagonal. Twist, tap your left elbow to your right knee and then twist to the other side. Twist, 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 and twist. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Nice work. We're not here much longer. Really move through those obliques for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. Give those knees a squeeze, tug them into your chest, place your feet down on the mat, and let's just take a bridge to relieve the abs after all of that. So you can just lift your hips up into a bridge. If you want to make it more of a yoga style bridge and you want to interlock all 10 fingers underneath your low back and really lift your hips up and make it more of a back bend, you may. Just a few more breath cycles, giving those abs a nice stretch. And when you're ready, just release and roll back down with control one vertebra at a time. Take your left leg long, followed by your right leg long. Pick up those weights, weights over your shoulders, roll up transition, curl up, reach and dive for your toes. Drop the weights off once again at the sides of your mat. Scoop your legs around, plant your hands and step back into a plank pose, top of a push up. So get really nice and strong in your high plank. Spread the fingers wide on your mat. Keep your belly pulling in and up and imagine you can knit your ribs together. Hold your plank and breathe for five, four, three, two. Listen on one, drop both heels to the right. Pick up the weight that's to the left side of your mat and take it onto the ground. So right onto your mat, ground to overhead press. So if you need to modify, you can bring your bottom knee, your right knee down if you need to modify. Otherwise, stay right here. Punch that weight up to the sky for two and down to the ground for two. Nine and down. Eight and down. Seven and down. Six and down, five, and down, four, and down, last three, and down, two, one, switch. Setting up ground to overhead press. Tap the weight to the ground, punch it up for two, down for two, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, drop that weight back off. Come back to your high plank. 
Hold that plank for five. Keep the belly in, four. Down dog in three, two, and one. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out, bend your right knee, bend your left knee. Find some stillness, feet hips width distance apart, hands shoulder width distance apart, really spread the fingers wide, pull your low belly in and up and lengthen your tailbone high to the sky. Take a breath in and then as you exhale, walk your hands back to meet your feet. Inhale, roll up to stand, one vertebra at a time. We'll take three rounds of a roll down and a walk forward into a high plank. So make sure when you're doing these roll downs that you are rolling, sucking the belly. Think about the roll up that we did earlier. So rather than just hinging from your hips, you're really hollowing out navel to spine and rolling down. So as you exhale, roll down. Inhale, walk all the way forward into your plank. Make sure you get into the plank so the hips are right in line with your shoulders. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand. We'll do it again. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, walk forward into your plank. Exhale, walk back to meet the feet. Inhale, roll up to stand. Just one more, exhale, roll your spine down. Inhale, walk out into plank. Exhale, walk back to meet the feet. Inhale, roll up to stand. Nice work, arms by your sides. We're gonna do some lunges here. So we'll start by springing the right foot forward, reach the arms forward, lower your left knee down, and then spring back to that start position. Only doing the right side, we've got nine more. Spring forward, spring back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Spring back. Now spring forward to your lunge and pause in that lunge. Lift the back knee off the mat and fly the arms back so you are in a power lunge. So you're leaning forward over that right thigh. Now holding your power lunge shape, take those arms in a sweeping circle, swim them forward so the biceps are by your ears, and then swim them back by your sides. Nine more. Forward and back. Eight, keep the belly toned. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now hinge forward, plant your hands down. Step back into your high plank, and you've got eight cross-body mountain climbers in this high plank, so the right knee will tap across to the left tricep, and then left knee across to the right. That's one and one. We've got seven more. Cross, six, cross, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, take your knees down onto the mat and find a tabletop. As you inhale, drop your belly, arch your spine, take your gaze up. As you exhale, round into cat pose, press the mat away. Come back to center and find a neutral spine. Take the weight that's to the left side of your mat and tuck it behind your left knee. Once it's there, come down onto your forearms so you're in a forearm tabletop. And we'll just start with some donkey kicks here. So keeping that weight squeezed behind your left knee, lift your left leg up and then lower it back down. Nine more, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, 
two, one. Now lift to the top of your donkey kick and take little pulses there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Listen, keep that leg high. Take your right toes off the mat. Bring your right forearm parallel to the top of the mat. Keep squeezing that weight. Open up, take your left hand behind your head. Fire hydrant, so you'll start with the leg open and then you'll close that left knee to meet the right and then open it back up. Nine more, close and open. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now grab that weight. Bend your, or keep your knee bent and bring your knees together and the hips down, all the way down onto your mat. The weight will be in your left hand with the palm facing up. Lift up your left leg, stretch that weight forward to the top of the mat, and then lower back down to that start position. So the hip is lifting, the leg is extending, the weight is reaching to the top of the mat. We've got nine more. Lift for two, lower for two. Eight, and down. Seven, and down. Six, and down. Five, and down. Last four, and down. Last three, and down. Final two, and down. One more, lift for two, and lower for two. Place that weight to the side of your mat. Take your left hand to your left hip. Try to stay on that right forearm if you can. Avoid sinking into that right shoulder. Really push the forearm down and we've got 15 butterflies here. The feet will stay glued together and you'll just open that left knee out and then close for 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Lie down onto your bellies. Your weight should be there for you at the sides of your mat. Take your feet about hips width distance apart, maybe a little wider. Grab the weights and take your arms out wide like airplane wings. Ooh, trying not to smoosh the plants here. Once you've got them out wide like airplane wings, pull your belly in, squeeze your legs, and lift your chest and shoulders up. You'll start by lifting the left weight up, lower it down, then the right weight up, lower it down, and then both weights at the same time and down. The chest and shoulders stay lifted the whole time. We'll do seven more reps. So go left, down, right, and down, both, and down, six, right, both, five, right, both, four, right, both, three, right, both, last two, right, both, one more, left, right, both, and then take a child's pose. Just leave your weights at the sides of your mat, hands under your shoulders, knees wide, hips back, child's pose to rest just for a moment, stretch it out. Rise up into your tabletop, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Once again, pedal it out in your down dog. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee. 
And then again, find some stillness here. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, walk your hands to meet your feet. Roll up to stand. And we'll go right into our lunges with the left leg only. So the left foot steps forward, spring forward, right knee comes down, and then spring back. Nine more. Forward and back. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Now spring that left foot forward into your lunge. This time, lift the right knee off of the mat and fly the arms back so you're in a power lunge. Feel that nice long line of energy from the base of your spine to the crown of your head. Again, you'll swim the arms forward in a nice sweeping circle. Try to get those biceps by your ears and then swim them back. Nine more. Forward and back. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Slowly start to hinge forward. Plant your hands and step back into a high plank. Once more, top of a push up. This time, take your feet to the edges of your mat so you're in a wide base plank and really focus on keeping the pelvis stable and do some alternating shoulder taps. So that right hand will tap the left shoulder and then the left hand taps the right shoulder. Tap, tap. But keep sucking the belly in and press firmly into the balls of the feet so that your hips are not wobbling back and forth. Tap for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your feet back to hips with distance and lower your knees down onto your mat. Tabletop. Good work. Inhale, drop your belly, arch your spine, look up. Exhale, round to press the mat away. Come back to center, take the weight that's to the right and tuck it behind your right knee. Bring your forearms down onto the mat so you're back in that forearm tabletop. Once you're there, we're starting with our donkey kicks with the right leg, lifting up and lowering down for nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now lift to the top of your donkey kick and pulse there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that leg high. Take your left toes off of the mat. Left forearm parallel. Keep squeezing that weight behind your right knee. Take your right hand behind your head. And we've got 10 sideline fire hydrants. Close and open. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Grab that weight, remove it from the knee, knees together, hips down. Weight is in your right hand with the palm facing up. We've got 10 reps. Push into your left forearm, lift and extend your right leg as you stretch the weight to the top of your mat. Lower back down, hips down, weight comes down to your right hip. Nine more. Lift for two, lower for two. 
eight and down seven and down six and down five and down last four and down final three and down last two and down last one and down nice job place the weight to the side right hand to your right hip and we've got 15 butterflies open and close 14 13 keep the feet together 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 lie down onto your belly this time take the weights by your hips Again, feet about hips width distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. Tap your forehead down onto the mat and then lift your head, chest, and shoulders up. And then same thing as before, you'll lift the right weight, left weight, and then both weights at the same time. Seven more, right, left, both. Six, left, both. Five, left both four left both final three left both last two left both one more right left both nice work lower your chest and shoulders down and you can take your right, your left cheek down onto the mat. You release the grip around the weight. And then come back to center and grab just one weight this time in both of your hands. Lift everything off of the mat. Squeeze that weight, squeeze your shoulders and take little flutter kicks with your legs. Breathing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come down, drop the weight to the side. Right cheek down, look to the left. Chin forward, hands under your shoulders. Take a child's pose, knees wide, hips back. From child's pose, rise up into a tabletop pose once more tuck your toes lift your hips to downward facing dog walk your hands back to meet your feet and just take a rag doll here you can grab for opposite elbows if you'd like to you can sway side to side and then release the elbows plant your right hand down bend your right knee deeply and twist reach your left arm up you can circle out the wrist a few times if you'd like one direction than the other and then switch sides bend your left knee left hand down reach your right arm up circle out that right wrist a few times one direction than the other right hand comes down Roll your spine up to stand, and we will close it off with one round of Pilates style push ups. So, as you exhale, hollow out your belly, roll your spine down. Inhale, walk all the way out into a high plank. Now, you can do your push ups with your knees up or your knees down. You choose. Try to keep your elbows by your ribs. It's just three push ups, slow and controlled, lowering down. Pushing back up, just two more. One more. Downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. 
and do one final roll up to stand. The last nod at the spinal articulation. And a round of applause for yourselves. You did it, nice work.